Hey everybody, welcome back to Unboxing Time. Mary's here. Hello. And I, I screwed up my finger roll, had to do it three times. We're here for the November 2017 Geek Fuel. <laughs> Uh, very excited about Geek Fuel. I love me some Geek Fuel. Their pins are the most fantastic pins, and the packaging is fantastic. And the pins in the packaging last time were my just hair amazing. I not want to stay up. It's like <laughs> she you just does. want to lose in my face. And there's your Mary Hair Report for now. <laughs> <That's>, um, <laughs> Beautify for Geek Fuel. If you guys want to check out Geek Fuel, I have a link in the description below. I believe it saves you like three or five dollars, something like that. So you might want to check it out and use that if you haven't subscribed. Uh, again, the last one was awesome. It had tons of Stranger Things stuff, Stranger Things things in it. Oh yeah. With yeah, all yeah. the sweet packaging, like the packaging of everything was cooler than anything like actually in it. Yeah. And I saw some other unboxers, and it was kind of the same thing for everybody. They're like, oh my god, all the packaging in here is fantastic. Um, yeah, Geek Fuel is one, you always get like a nice game for, for to play on Steam. Geek Fuel is one of those boxes, even if I ever quit unboxing, I'd probably still get Geek Fuel just for the pins, if nothing else. Alright, we got a plush, we got a big box, a bunch of other boxes, I don't know. There's a booklet on top that's, that's their magazine, that's not going to spoil this. There will be a spoiler card in there somewhere, probably underneath everything. Alright, grab at it. I like that. That phrase kind of works. Instead of have at it, grab at it. Yeah, I'll grab this plushy thing. Yeah, you will. Oh, cool! It's a Deadpool. X-Men Deadpool. Yeah, Mopies. Nice. I mean, you know, Mopies. I haven't seen a Mopies in a while, but still, that's pretty cool. I imagine maybe this is one of those where everybody's getting different ones, too, so. Well, there's apparently four different ones. It's Deadpool. There's like 400. Uh, <laughs> no, there's four on there, but they maybe only made the four Deadpool Mopies, but still. That's pretty cute. I think I have the red one, because I think I got him to sit with Harley. Um, or no, I got a black and red one that was an exclusive there. to a Marvel Collector Core, maybe? Okay. And then there's... Oh, oh. now it unfocuses. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Nice. Yep. I like the colors on that, actually. Why are these ages 14 plus? Maybe because Deadpool? I mean, I could see like three or something because, you know, you don't want to tear up the butt, butt and eat his butt beans. Yeah, just get something out of the box. I thought it was funny. <laughs> I think I found the pin and it feels smushed in or broken, the box. Uh -oh. I don't know, maybe it's not. Yeah, it's the pin. No, it's just weirdly put, put together weird. All right, anyways, we got, oh, Combot. Mortal Kombat, it is kind of dented in a little bit. So, okay, so we're gonna have to open this one to see which one we get. Uh, one, two, three, four, four, six. So there's seven different ones and a rare. I want Raiden. I don't know who I want. I guess Sub Zero or Scorpion. Yeah, Raiden, because of all the GameStop things, maybe. I'm not Raiden as for. always one of my favorites. Who am I kidding? I want, Gor I want Gorbot because he's the rare. <laughs> what am I saying? Have we ever gotten a rare pin? <laughs> uh, not from them. I think we, yeah, no, we've never gotten a rare pin. I don't think, have we guys? I you guys out there have. would know more than we would. And then here's, you know, the ones you can get. We'll find out who we got in just a moment. Okay, let's do this. But yeah, see how it like has like the fold thing that they just didn't actually put the flap in it. And that's why I thought maybe it had torn off. Uh. And again, I like that they're doing these in a way that you can open them and repackage them so you can keep the packaging. Yeah. But you can still experience the pen. Oh, nice! You got a scorpion. Yeah. But what do they call that one? He doesn't have a name. Fuel Scorpion, I guess? They didn't name these, which is weird. But the guy I didn't get that's fighting him is named Fuel Kang, who is the character. Yeah. So that's kind of odd. Obviously, that's the one that's the actual. Kang. Right, so it's Fuel Kang. That makes sense because Geek Fuel. Uh, but this, my Scorpion just says Fuel. So is it Fuelian? Or what? I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Now, I will admit, I think this is maybe weak compared to some of their other ones in packaging. Like the last one was awesome. It was a Tales from the Crypt VHS case and all that stuff. You know, or like the one that was like a Super NES cartridge for Mario Kart. Yeah. Or even like the He-Man and G.I. Joe and Ninja Turtle ones that look like action figures, the Indiana Jones one. This Wonder, is still really good, it's just... Maybe the booklet will... Yeah, it's just a little bit lower um, than what I thought. And now, as you know, you may like it more because it's uh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah. 
but still, still very cool. So happy to have that. All right, I'm gonna put it back together correctly while you find something in there. And this is their 13th pin. I like that they number them too. Yeah, the box feels better when it's closed properly. <laughs> okay, there's something really big. And oh, in the box. And then there's something really big and flat underneath of it. So I'm gonna have to take out the thing on top because otherwise we're not getting to the other thing. Uh, we got something Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park, it looks like. Jurassic um, Park! I don't know why I did that. But not really sure what, because the box gives you no real indication. <laughs> uh, other than the post stamp is from the uh, island. Thank you, Focus Stealer. <laughs> That's what I do. I take the, I steal the focus. Let's see what's actually, what's in the box? What's in the box? It's a t-shirt. Oh, there is, oh, okay, cool. There is a t-shirt and it's gonna be a Jurassic Park t-shirt. Hey, I can a t-shirt for once. Isn't it you that's always like, if there's a shirt, grab it? I mean, I you're know, welcome to I pull know. the shirts. I'm trying to make I'm, it sound I'm like it's- I'm giving you shit. They'll believe it though. <laughs> I know better, but they'll believe you. So I have, oh, let me actually look at. Life finds a way. Oh, that's really Lisa cool. Lisa Nebular. That's really cool. So it's sort of like um like an old postcard almost. Yeah, but it also kind of has that 1950s uh, B movie poster vibe too. Yeah. So it's got a nice combo of all of that. Very cool. I like that a lot actually. Yeah, let's see. Does it say anything inside of the collar? Nope. <laughs> Still. Still very nice, kind of a navy blue too. I don't know if it showed up black or what, but yeah. it's nice that it's not just black because somebody needs more black t-shirts. <laughs> and it ain't me. All right, everything else is kind of flat items. It used to be all black t-shirts for him. Yeah. <laughs> you guys see me in all black because honestly, I mean, occasionally I get a little gray, but if I shoot reactions and anything that's not a black t-shirt, it really throws off the exposure. <laughs> All right, so we got one of these wood building sets. I think they gave us one of these before. Uh, yeah. Or we got we got one of these somewhere. And if you're into this stuff, that's great. More power to you. It's not for me though. I'm I'm not. When I was younger, I loved stuff like this. Right. It's, it's basically a three dimensional puzzle, just about. Yeah, and this is the one you have to go get your own paint and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um. So again, I mean, I think it's a cool idea and everything. It's just not something that I'm terribly into myself. But it is Star Wars, so that's always cool. But you know, I, I got I got too many I got too many ways to entertain myself these days, and I don't just mean Mary. <laughs> if you guys have been watching my channel, you know you know about my new kind of gaming stuff going on. So, not to mention all the work I have to do getting these parody songs done and things like that. Oh, did you guys know I do parody songs? Do you know why? <laughs> why? Oh, that's your line. Yeah. Why are you doing parody <laughs> songs, Eric? Well, we do this live stream every other Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern time, right here on my channel called Drunken Movie Night. You don't say. Yeah, we get drunk. You don't have to, um, then, unless you want and, and legally can. Um, basically, we hang out five, six hours, me and my co-host, Mike Elmore. This time we're doing our Christmas stream. Mary will be there as the guest. It's a Merry Christmas. We do parody songs. We do sketches. Um, we watch some cheesy Christmas movies. We play Quiplash. You can play with us. Mm -hmm. It's just a good time. You got questions you want them answered? Come on over. Hit us up in the chat. We'll chat I with you guys. Say what? Oh, and she yes, and she does art. There's all kinds of cool custom art coming out, and uh, she's working on a doozy for it. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got to work that in. I, I, I need to get that in the habit that I've mentioned the art as well. Um, and those are like limited editions. She does something just about every stream that's only available to the next stream. So, very very cool. Although right now you'll have my first piece of art. <laughs> Which is Star Wars related. All right, anyways, moving on. So there's that. So far, it's, it's your, I, I, I pulled that, yeah. yeah so I far, know. shirt is really oh, cool. there's still more stuff in here. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Shirt is really cool. Yeah, food fight gift rat. Okay. So it looks like uh, mutant turtles and Simpsons and Bob's Burgers. Yeah, good, good, good. Uh, so it looks like one of those. Don't open it. Okay. Where you can see it all from the individual front. wrap three different uh, individual sheets of wrapping paper sort of like when you know they do the drives the 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 fundraising drives where they sell gift wrap and it comes in sheets rather than rolls hmm. i did not know that yeah I, as soon as you pulled that out i remembered last year too they had like a three thing where it's like zelda and mario and something else 
I like these better. They're more colorful. This is actually maybe good birthday wrapping paper rather than Christmas wrapping paper. Well, that is nice about that is that that one is very much, I want to say non-denominational, but that's not really what I mean. <laughs> um, not holiday specific, for lack of a better term. Or, uh, I wasn't thinking holiday, um, celebration. Non-celebration specific. There you go. All right, we got the game. Oh, you're got... gonna get some eyes raised if you bring that to the baby shower or the pile shower. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna do the game, and then we got our cards and wow. magazine. That looks pretty. Yeah, Lumini. Download a Steam game, thirteen dollar value. Let's see if I can read it from here. Help, help the colorful Lumini creatures restore their forgotten home world in this relaxing adventure game. With a soothing soundtrack and flowing gameplay, you can use the movements of your Lumini swarm to overcome obstacles, solve puzzles, collect the planet's energy, and grow and evolve with new abilities. From Geek Fuel, sort of. Because it's soothing, she's pretending to go to sleep. She is pretending, right? Yeah, she's pretending, or that would have woke her up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, I got a good laugh out of you. All right, that sounds kind of interesting. I've never played a relaxing one. I think, actually, if I could go to sleep before you do, I could sleep through your snoring. Sometimes. Depends on the night, as we've learned. <laughs> Some nights is worse than others. All right, we got... The spoiler card! Spoiler card. So that's everything that is everything. Yeah, and then we got a magazine we can look at. We already pulled out underneath. Okay, let's see... Now, unfortunately, the card does not tell us any of the names of the other combat. Pins. Yeah, it doesn't tell us any of the names. It only shows so, four possibles, too. Well, and the rare. Yeah, so that's a little disappointing. Yeah. Everybody got everything else the same, except it does look like you could have gotten any of the Mopies, because they're only yeah. showing the red one. Yeah. Uh, huh. Yeah, so really not much going on here. No, I mean, in terms of uh, variants. But 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 eat but eat but eat but eat but eat. That's the box, folks. Uh, I don't know. Do you think they just kind of gave up on trying to give punny nicknames to the Mortal Kombat characters? They might have. That's quite possible. Hmm. All right. So let's see if there's anything worth checking out in here. We'll thumb through this for you guys real quick. I'm just seeing if anything's catching my eye. Eh. Okay, the bell cat ring is just fugly. Yeah. Gizmo pajamas. Uh, you know, we, I mention these things, and I feel like we have to show them. Oh, I want that ugly sweater. Okay. Um, hold on, let me see this, and I'll let you show these off. <laughs> he looks familiar. Oh, Jay, Jaw Warlock is in here. That's another unboxer I watch. Um, I'm just trying to see if I recognize anybody right off. They don't really put the names in. Yeah. Yeah, he's about the only one I recognize. Interesting that they actually use his thumbnail. Because I assumed they would only use things you have to, like, tweet or something. Anyways, I'll let you do the showing off thing. Okay, I want this because it's an actual sweater, not just printed like a sweater. <laughs> and it has Chung Lee on it, so... Uh, the uh, other thing in the battle cat. I was going to say the battle cat ring. I said that's just kind of ugly. But yeah, so there you go. Yeah. <laughs> that is, uh, I guess that's the November 2017 Geek Fuel. Yeah. Um, pretty good. Okay, I love the shirt. It's a good Mopies, even though I'm not huge on Mopies. Don't really care about the wood kit. The pin is a little bit, just a little bit disappointing. The gift wrap is alright. Okay, so I think for me, this is probably one of the lesser geek fuels. But still cool. Still glad I got it. So, I'm still on board. I mean, again, because of the pins, man. I'll just probably never give up geek fuel. But what about you guys? What did you think? Which Mopies did you get? What was your favorite item in this box? How do you feel about it this month? Let us know. Geek out with us in the comments. Can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Other than that, you can click that thumbs up button. I don't know why I keep having this issue right at the thumbs up. Uh, give us that good old thumb of encouragement, because we do love to be encouraged. All right, we're going to get out of here. We're going to go open up some more stuff, and I'll make some more stupid puns. We'll see you all later.